Well, hello. Welcome to 181 Days in Belgium. I'm Jack, and I'm here with another hardware and gear review with five pros and two cons. And today I want to talk about a backpack that I really like. It's Quechua's NH500 10 liter backpack. And Quechua is Decathlon, the outdoor athletic company's in-house brand. And if you have know anything about Decathlon, you live in Europe, you probably see their stuff everywhere. And they make a good product, people buy it and they wear it nonstop. This backpack you can actually see everywhere right now over in Europe. There's a 20 liter and a 30 liter version. And even on YouTube now, I'm seeing people travel with this backpack. Uh, and there's a reason. It's great. I really love it. Um, let's get into the reasons why I like it, but I've put this through a lot of abuse. Uh, it goes everywhere with me. It's kind of my day pack, but I need to just throw my GoPro and, you know, some snacks or something in. This is the backpack I take with me. So let's get into the why. The first thing I really like about this backpack is the size. It's a 10 liter backpack, which, you know, you can see here, it's a pretty small backpack, but most companies, when they make a small backpack, it's a cheap backpack. It's packable or it's super light or you know it's basically disposable this is not that backpack this is really well built um, it's small so that you can really take it anywhere with you throw it under a seat uh, you know throw it on a luggage holder i take this i've taken this to conferences with me and it's pretty uh, incognito you can just kind of put it somewhere and out of the way but it still holds quite a bit too um, and so the size i think is awesome you know everyone has their travel backpacks their big backpacks for everything that they do but if you need like a good day pack i love this thing the second thing i really like about this backpack is the build quality as i mentioned earlier most 10 liter bags are pretty much disposable this is not a disposable bag this has pretty hefty zippers it's got um like a braided bottom with on the inside is rubberized so that if you spill something inside it's not going to leak out um, it's got compartments on the inside for a laptop if you have one that was small enough to fit in here i've bought books when i'm traveling and stuffed them in here so they didn't get you know bent or broken um, it's got multiple pockets on the inside it's got mesh a little mesh pocket at the top it's really well thought out. Um, you know, it's got an outside pocket, which is nice if you want to keep something that's not with the rest of your stuff in there. I think I have tissues in there for some reason, um, but it's just built really well. You know, I have really not been nice to this backpack and it hasn't broken on me. I expected this mesh to break pretty quickly after I bought it. I thought maybe this would be a disposable bag, but I have put miles and miles on this and it shows nowhere. Uh, but that does speak to Decathlon's brand and Quechua's quality. Uh, they make really good stuff. And, you know, I would say it's worth the price, but it's cheap. I think this bag was 20 euros or something like that, maybe 30 euros. It's just, it's really affordable. So I love how well made this is. I feel really good taking it everywhere. The third thing I really like about this backpack is this rigid back, which is under this mesh that I thought was actually going to break. So it's got a foam back uh, with some breathable holes on it, which is nice. Um, I've noticed backpacks that don't have a lot of uh, breathability in the back. You really do sweat quite a bit. You know, it's got kind of this air vent channel, which it's a tiny backpack. Like you're not going to be putting 4,000 pounds in this and you're not going to really need that breathing channel. But I have over overweighted this backpack and it does still f feel pretty nice. Um, on the inside, there is actually like a rigid hard plastic panel. So if you bought something like a magazine or if you had a tablet, like an iPad, and you put it in here, you could probably feel pretty comfortable that it wasn't going to get bent across your back or you know if someone threw it that it wasn't necessarily going to get broken it's flimsy i mean it's it, it's like a plastic note card you get in a folder when you're in grade school but uh it's still something it's better than those backpacks that do just crush down and to be packable um i like that it keeps its shape when it's full of stuff and you set it set it down it doesn't bend into itself it doesn't fall over this gets flat on the bottom here so it actually kind of sits up um so i, I think it's really just a, a great design the fourth thing I really like about this is that it has a chest strap. You know, sometimes you do overload your backpack and you go out for the day, you don't expect that you're gonna buy so much and you have a backpack that's kind of hanging off the back of your back and it hurts. Um, sometimes I have my, my shoulders start to hurt after I'm out for a while and it's nice to have a chest strap that you can kind of put this on and take off some of that weight. It's even so nice that it has like the elastic bands to keep the, the pulls in place. Uh, and it has little extra tabs so that if you need to pull it tight, you can pull it tight. Um, both of the shoulder straps have little 
handhold so you can you know like hook your thumbs and hang your hands off of it they have nice little handholds also for the bottom so you can pull it tight uh, it's just really good details for a tiny little extra backpack um, one that i am just so happy i bought okay the fifth thing i like about this it's going to be kind of a bonus it's going to be two things but one thing i really like about this is it has this top zip here so when you're zipping it off it actually opens up um, it doesn't totally fold open uh, but it's a pretty nice opening uh, it's just an, it's different than a lot of backpacks too it looks a little different it looks nice i think it's kind of cool um, but the you know part two of this fifth part that i really like is it has water bottle holders and this is something that you see on almost no small backpacks and i don't know about you but i don't go out without a water bottle i know there's a joke that people go out with emotional support water bottles. That's me. I mean, I, I, I need to have a water bottle when I go out. I get thirsty fast. Has nice water bottle holders. They're elastic. Um, you can't fit like, you know, a, a big hiking bottle in this, but you can fit a small little plastic battle, bottle for going out for a day. Uh, that's all you really need. And if you're going out with this, you're probably not going out for a super huge trek. So it's nice. And there's two of them if you need it uh, again. It's just really well designed. Okay, so moving on to the two dislikes. I have to admit, finding two dislikes about this backpack was pretty hard. I really like this thing. I brag about it to everyone that I can when I get the chance. Um, I did find two areas for improvement. I wouldn't even call them dislikes. So I've noticed with these water bottle holders, which again, you know, I'm grateful to have on a small backpack. When this thing is full, the bottom kind of pushes, it, it pulls in a little bit and it pushes the water bottle up. And there's not really anything to stop it from doing that. So if you have kind of a full backpack and a full water bottle, it can sometimes squeeze the water bottle out. And I've actually had my water bottle fall out a couple times from this thing. Um, I'm not really going to complain about that for a tiny backpack that costs 30 euros or whatever. Uh, but it is something to be mindful of. Um, you can always get a carabiner or clip it or something if you really wanted to get you know in depth. But uh, it's something to keep in mind, I guess. Uh, and these are kind of small. I think getting anything over kind of like a 20 ounce bottle is a little tough. Um, I have like a, one of those recyclable metal aluminum bottles that I take with me sometimes. And it fits in here well, but I wouldn't run with it in it. So yeah, so that's one of them. Okay, my second dislike slash area of improvement. Uh, like I said, it's kind of hard to find negatives about this backpack, but is the top zip here. So I mentioned I really like it. I really, I really do like the, the design of it. Um, but I wish that it had a little more opening. So when this thing is full and you're trying to get into it, you get quite a bit of opening, you can see here, but some of these backpacks do zip all the way open uh, and you can you know, kind of almost like access them like a piece of luggage, not this one. And when it's full, it's kind of hard to get stuff in and out of it. Um, I don't know why I did this, but I took a grocery shopping once and I was just like stuffing stuff in here and it was pretty hard to open it up to get stuff in. But I will say the way that it closes, and this is what I like about it, is it's like it kind of over the top here and you can really fill this up. It kind of balloons out, um, which is nice. So it's kind of like a pro and a con to have it, have it zip this way. But I really, again, think it's a great backpack. Um, I've put a lot of miles on this. I have run with it. I have. I know I said earlier that I wouldn't run with it with a water bottle, but I have done that. I've run with this. I've thrown, I, I have not treated this backpack well and it still looks brand new. Um, but again, that speaks to Decathlon, speaks to Quechua. So yeah, the NH500 10 liter backpack. I actually don't know if they're still making this particular backpack. I looked it up before this. Um, they're making the 20 and the 30 liter. It says there's a new version of the 10 liter. So maybe you can find it. I saw this one day and just bought it no hesitation so i highly recommend that you do the same thing if you see it out there it looks cool it's really comfortable um and now i've been talking for like 10 minutes about a backpack so yeah like subscribe let me know what you think um do you have one of these do you have the bigger one the bigger one i know it has like a little bottom part that actually zips off and you can put your shoes in which i think is a really cool feature obviously you can't even fit a shoe in this one but um yeah i think it's a great backpack questions comments like Subscribe again, let me know. Thanks a lot, have a good one.